Okay, welcome everyone. I'm Audrey Lane. I am one of the co-directors of the PopCon International Film Festival. And I'm George Lane. I'm the co-film festival director for PopCon. And we have with us the team from um, Submerge Universe, uh, Blue Star. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday we played <clears throat> Excuse me. Yesterday we screened season one, which is a season uh, series of shorts that make up the season one of the Submerged Universe. Um, so hopefully, a lot of you got to watch that and um, finish up with the latest movie in the series today, Blue Star. Uh, Demetrius, um, for those of, that may not know what Submerge is, um, fill them in and catch them up a little bit um, until today's um, premiere. Okay. Well, uh, I'm the uh, writer and creator of the Submerged Universe, and uh, it starts out about uh, Nairi, this young lady that's pregnant, and she gets thrown into a multi-universe, and she has to find her way out and find her daughter. And so we uh, expanded that out uh, because of this uh, Submerged experiment that's been done on different species and different uh, places. Uh, in, in, in different universes. Uh, and uh, because of the Craig empire that's doing it, uh, we went to Echo 51 and seen what was going on uh, with Light and her situation. And then uh, I wanted to go back and uh, tell a little bit more story uh, about Nairi and her daughter and the situation of what they're dealing with. And, and it would just bring the whole uh, five part series together. Uh, and so that's what we did with uh, Submerged Blue Star is really uh, follow that journey, that mother and daughter journey of Nairi and her daughter. Okay. Um, so this picks up, where does it pick up exactly after the last movie or has something happened in between? Uh, so this uh, um, picks up uh, after Nairi Reborn and right before Echo 51. Okay. Submerge Echo 51. So, um, and, the, and the story continues so, uh, into the next film uh, series that we're going to be doing, Submerge Galaxy of Subversion. So we really get to see the team and Liz and uh, their their plight against the uh, evil Craig Empire. Okay. Um, Nate, tell us a little bit about your role um, with the whole Submerge universe. Uh, so I'm the, I've been the director of photography for Demetrius's last two um, live action productions, two short films, Echo 51 and uh, Submerge Blue Star. Um, we're always on a shoestring budget, but we find mm -hmm. ways and um, to to make it happen with local crew around the Indianapolis area all contributing and because everybody has a love for sci-fi and they want to see uh, Demetrius's vision happen. So we uh, it, it's a community effort. It's pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of blue just... screen, a lot of blue screen work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're saying you don't get a whole lot of that outside of sci-fi. Yeah. But when you have and... green skin aliens, you got to use the blue screen. <laughs> right, Demetrius. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So let me guess you laugh at that. Like you may not have realized it. Did it happen once you went to go film? You're just like, yeah, this isn't going to work. Oh no, you can't, you can't do this kind of level of production without some pre-production. So, okay. um, in the that sounds like beforehand, do. <laughs> yeah, in the meetings beforehand, we were very careful and say, okay, she's going to have green skin. It won't be like a green screen, but it's going to be close enough. That'll mm -hmm. be, make it very hard for the VFX artist. So we actually had to go back to the older style, which is the uh, blue screen. Mm -hmm. uh, and then mm -hmm. we had to be careful. It's like, okay, so their costumes aren't gonna have blue in them, right? Right. <laughs> right, all of us take, pick yeah, one. <laughs> we need to have this planned right. way ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's yeah. there's newer technology that, that gets around some of that, but on a low budget, um, the software has gotten so good now that I, it's, you can, you can, what, 10, 20 years ago was thousands of thousands of dollars of production. You can, you can do these effects and that's really right. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think that you accomplished with blue star that you may not have accomplished or reached a goal with your, the previous uh, films in the series? Um, for me, uh, I was trying to 
work on my writing a little bit more. And I partnered with uh, a writing partner, Mary Carlton, uh, which she wears many hats in the production. Um, but uh, just having that mother and daughter relationship and, and making sure I have the right voice for it. Uh, I mean, I have daughters, I have three daughters. So I, I, I know my relationship with my daughters, but uh, uh, Liz is 16 and not only that they've been on the run, but also um, dealing with her own em emotions and things and having powers on top of that. So I wanted that to come through and uh, really show, um, you know, how they deal with that on top of everything else that's that's happening um, visually. All right, now, uh, as far as uh, you said that you're going to end up going... <laughs> Sorry, we had a say, muting issue. Say one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Always me. <laughs> as far as... Um, am I back on? Okay, good. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. As far as with COVID now and how things have really brought things back down and you're uh, wanting to get back into doing the next uh, part of the Submerge uh, universe. How is this affecting anything? Are you still going to be filming, but just bring it down a little bit more? Or are you able to film certain areas and then waiting for things to open up to film other spots? Uh, what is it looking right now for you guys? Well, um, right now, um, finishing out the script for what's coming up because we were going to do a feature film but we're going to chop that up and do make it a series so we'll be able to get more, a better distribution with it um, so um, <clears throat> looking at pushing it off uh, to 2020 I mean uh, 2021 because uh, every day is fluctuating with the COVID and you don't know where it is. And I, I want everybody to be safe, you know, as much as possible. And we got a, a lot of fight scenes, a lot of places we want to uh, be filming at, uh, army bases and things like that. And so uh, th those things take time to r really get set up. And so the production wise, we'll put off to that, but uh, most definitely I have some smaller uh, projects that we're going to be doing because we do have a, a Submerge Universe TV uh, streaming site. Um, and uh, so all the films are on there, the animated, even the comic books. Hey, if DC can do it, we can do it. And so, um, so we're lo uh, looking at that and I'm working on little smaller projects to uh, that we can put some other streaming uh, series on there until we get the other bigger one done. Okay. And can you uh, share some of the uh, uh, some of the programs uh, that you were talking about, Nate, that you're using? Uh, can you talk a little bit about those? So just in case other people want to end up trying to do the same thing, they can uh, uh, work on those same programs and know what you know what kind of equipment that they're working on. Sure. Um, so I first of all, I'm not a compositor. I'm a director of photography, so I don't. <laughs> uh, Demetrius has a network, uh, international network of people volunteering their time. Canada, um, he can talk more about that. But as far as the software, he and I are both using uh, Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve, um, which, unlike certain other software, they don't demand a monthly fee. Um, it's yeah. very user friendly, but the effects are absolutely world class. You can use it's world-class com compositing and uh, color timing software uh, mm -hmm. we still have some color timing work to do on blue star um, the nature of how that was shot for the uh, best performance of the cameras you have to go in and color correct it before you go in and do the color timing just like you would with with actual film yeah um, so to other independent filmmakers out there i say do you have a cell phone Right. Then right. you have a good camera. You should be shooting your movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I do hear a lot of people that, uh, I mean, Black Magic, you know, I mean, it looks great. Uh, but with the color correcting stuff, I mean, have you guys ran into a lot of issues with that? To where is it taking you guys much longer than what you expected? Or is it worth uh, to get the end result? Uh, what do you think? It's It's just your time. Uh, if you have time to work on your project, it is absolutely worth putting in the extra time 
to put in to and educate yourself for the learning curve right for the software if you can because you i think you can still download black magic for free you just can't you can't network render you can't output 4k which if you're going to stream i think you're good to go yeah, um, yeah. but having it, it, so many people are creating amazing uh, amazing work now. I think you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your story to put in that extra work and make something fantastic. Right. You owe it to the people who are volunteering, the other actors, the other VFX artists. Like, do the absolute best you can. If that takes you a couple years, yeah, hey, it's worth it. Yeah, I got a film in film festivals like uh, ten years ago, and we spent absolutely no money on it. it took us two years to finish for seven <laughs> minutes. But you know what? Everybody laughs at the right time, so it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Uh, da Vinci, um, uh, that program was a powerful program, and um, you know, I'm the using YouTube to learn it and everything. That's uh, helped me a lot yes. uh, uh, with this. But like he said, working, networking with people from all over the world uh, is is helping uh, with this uh, uh, project. And so you're not just doing it alone. Okay. Awesome. Um, can you talk a little bit more about that? I've, you know, that how did you come about being able to um, find this network of people? Or are they people you've just kind of met along the way in the process of filmmaking? Or did you specifically um, seek out people that had certain skills that you, you know, needed some assistance with? Audrey, that is a good question. Everybody <laughs> wants to know that. It's like, how do you get that in Japan? Uh, I network inquiry minds. <laughs> yeah, I, I network my butt off. You know, any uh, local events that are happening, I'm there, and uh, not to the point. I'm not trying to show off, but I'm looking. Uh, I'm meeting. I'm networking with uh, people, and also Facebook. Uh, a lot of people have problems with whatever else uh, on Facebook, but for business wise and networking, mm -hmm. it, it has been king for me um, because I've met uh, people from the Philippines, from um, just all, all over the place that I've been able to uh, network with a message and we're able to talk. And then when something comes up, hey, I need help with this or they need help with that then we help each other and we create that, um, that bond that mm -hmm. now you know, we have a good solid team. Which is supposed to be, um, I can't say it's supposed to be, but that's some of the best part of the, the indie filmmaker experience. Um, I can't tell you how many times um, we've had a convention and our filmmakers have met and talked and mingled and the next thing you know, they're working on a project together or they're shooting and they're, um, lighting person or their um, boom didn't make it and they'll you know just start making some calls hey i'm in this area can you guys help and then next thing you know you've got yeah. some you know body there helping and you've saved the day so i think networking and, and making um being mindful of others in this business that you know mm -hmm. may need help you know everybody needs help i am so tech illiterate. I always need help with tech stuff, <laughs> you know, and, and I will make a deal. I'm like, I will cook for you. I will do this. I will do all of your administrative on this if you can help with this tech issue because I'm not good at it. So I think when you are doing these movies, it's okay to seek help or if someone knows something better than you to say, hey, you seem to really have this down. Can you show me how? So, I mean, it's about the networking and being able to, you know, help your fellow indie filmmaker. Yeah, yeah, and most definitely, that's that's what I love about um, uh, film festivals. Um, I like showing the film, but I, I also like to meet uh, so many people uh, there. Like you said, filmmakers from all over the world, and you never mm -hmm. know how small your world is until they yep. look at your Facebook and it's like, "Oh, you're connected to such and such, and mm -hmm. my buddy here, and and we're over in England." So yeah, uh, so those things happen all the time. And so, as a uh, any independent filmmaker, if you can get to the film festival, that's the best thing, uh, and be there. Uh, with your film, so because you'll uh, you'll grow so much networking. Um, tell us what you are doing next, uh, Nate. Are you working on? I know you know that that COVID has slowed things down, but are you doing um, other things um, 
like, you know, any other film work that you're working on right now? Yeah. Um, so I work, uh, I mean, I'm a full-time professional. This is, this is, uh, cinematography and lighting is my, is my life. <laughs> okay. Um, a lot of us, um, you know, across the country still work together and we're very careful. We're up on the latest news of how to keep each other safe, how to keep actors safe. And a lot of companies are doing excellent work. Uh, I'm working just this next week on a political commercial. Um, and it's, if we get it under control, it's going to be a busy year because I'm in negotiations for three to uh, to shoot three feature films in the next year or so. Nice. Are those local? We'll or they, are they local <laughs> or traveling? Or? Uh, these would be... Um, there are two... These are... Uh, well, Demetrius's feature is one of these. We're looking for currently trying to drum up funding for that. Mm -hmm. And there are two other uh, local feature films um, that are... I'm in contention for for director of photography that I can't talk about yet. <laughs> uh, we understand. Um, we understand when things are not yeah. to a spot where you can't talk. We, I like that people can drop pints and say I'm going to do something, but we understand that you cannot divulge information. Sometimes we just ask that when you are, you you know, let us know so we can share and we can <laughs> we can hear it here, you know, first. Um, so, Demetrius, I know you talked a little bit about the feature that you have coming up, but. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell everybody about some of the fun things um, about the submerged universe, about the cards and about the, the animation and the comics. Uh, tell everybody about that, you know, before we sign off. Yeah. Um, we not only did I uh, do the films, but really going to the film festivals and everything, especially PopCon, uh, Comic Con, I started to learn more about world building and, and uh, actually doing uh, multimedia. And so we got into the comic books. So we started expanding the world in the comic books. Some of the scenes in Blue Star are related to uh, this comic uh, that is uh, light. And, um, and the latest one, actually 51X. So some of these uh, characters were actually in Blue Star uh, in the background. So uh, being able to do those kind of things, tie the uh, movies and the novels and the comics all together uh, has been great. And so what we've do doing also is uh, with the uh, Echo 51, we've created a card game, 181 card uh, game uh, created by uh, Brett Robinson. And... Um, we have an Indiegogo for it right now. And um, I don't know if you can nice. see that or not, but uh, but for 10 bucks, you're getting a, a whole game and that's helping us uh, get the printing done. And so all the graphics, everything, the card game is done and you're helping uh, protect the planet of Echo uh, from the Craig Empire and you're trying to keep them from getting uh, through the woods, uh, through the mountains, and then uh, protecting the city of Echo. And so it's pretty uh, fast paced uh, game. Some of the mechanics like magic, uh, the game. So uh, we've had a two years of play testing, so we know that it nice. works. Cool. Okay, before we go, um, Tell us where, um, Nate, tell us where that people can find you and get a hold of you. Sure. Um, check me out on our website. It's invertedstaircase.com. Um, we uh, offer full service video production. Um, and check me out on Facebook. Nate Savage, I'm the one that looks like a pirate. <laughs> if it's a real pirate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And how about you, Demetrius? Yes, uh, you can uh, find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, you can find it under Submerge Universe, so at Submerge Universe. And don't forget our streaming uh, channel, Submerge Universe TV. It's everything Submerge is coming to it. Very nice. Um, we just want to thank you guys for sticking around and being here when we popped in. Because as thank soon as you. we came in, we were, just, we were like, let's see if they're there. Um, this has been a crazy ride, you know. But I have to say, the PopCon team is friggin' resilient. As soon, I, I don't know what part of the city you guys are in, but where we were, it was hailing so 
bad. Um, yeah. Trees were down everywhere. And the next thing you know, like within five minutes, you start hearing the ambulance is just going back and forth past mm. the building we were in. And wow. it's like, OK, this isn't good. So one group left to go kind of get reset up. And then the rest of us came um, and got everything you know, wrapped up at the building. Um, but they are resilient. I mean, not in a million. My power goes down at home or the Internet shuts down and I'm like frantic trying to, oh, well, why isn't it working? Like I panic technology and me, but they came back mm -hmm. and totally got everything reset up, got the one-on-one -on -one started back, got the um, systems going back, got the um, panels. So mm -hmm. man, they are amazing. So we're just glad that you were still here because it was a snafu and then another little snafu, but <laughs> you know, we are resilient. We wanted to jump back in. Um, we knew we might have to reschedule some, but we were really glad that you guys were here and kind of <laughs> uh, we, holding we, out for us. Yeah, we understand. We we communicators like, oh, they're back in, or they oh, they're on. So we was like, okay, we just. Well, then it came in. in with no sound because the systems didn't know they needed to talk to each other to do this piece of it, and it was like, ah, oh. <laughs> and then they figured it's it right. out. <laughs> yeah, so it's, we you know, it's probably hear you going. Ah. <laughs> oh, we were in the background, yeah. and we were all just kind of running around, and you know, <laughs> yeah. Trying that's to... why. That's why I didn't trip. I was like, you know what? I've been behind production, and I know mm -hmm. how things can go. So, hey, hats off to you guys for still <laughs> rolling. You know, yes, thank, you. thank you. And you know, the worst mm -hmm. part is it wasn't wasn't even supposed to rain today. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't supposed wow. to rain. I don't know how they missed this big. <laughs> <laughs> thunderstorm with golf ball sized hail <laughs> yeah it came through here too it came through here too so yeah it, it, um, it's pretty it's pretty it was pretty nasty um when we were coming back to where we are now trees were down everywhere you kind of had to like weave in and out of out of the road and uh i was like oh my gosh and i'm like trees are down this way they're down this way the direction we're going so mm -hmm. i mean whatever came through here it it came through hard and fast and it was nasty Wow. I just want to say uh, real quickly that uh, to uh, people that want to be filmmakers or, or are filmmakers, uh, continue to surround yourself with people that know more than you. And I think we kind of touched on that, but that's very important because uh, you're going to learn so much uh, from them. And uh, it, it really does uh, help your production go further and you become a team and you see why so many people, they kind of have the same people with them, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not a click. It is uh, a family. Uh, you know, you guys work together and, mm -hmm. and, and me and Nate to the point where sometimes we don't even communicate. We just like, yep, yeah, that's it. You know, you know it. or we, yeah, we don't yeah. have to discuss a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, this is actually our third project that we've worked on. We worked on one that had like 70 people and we were in the snow and wow. we had fire department there. So, um, so yeah, you know, that, that was a big production. Something. It was very big. <laughs> and that's, that's an interesting thing. Like you use what you have on the day. It's like, it, it yeah. was kind of a tribute to everything that went down at nine 11. And again, we didn't have the money for production value. It started snowing halfway mm -hmm. through the shoot. I look over at Demetrius. We were worried for a second. And like, yeah, that looks like ash. Yeah. He tell me. Right. <laughs> wow. wow. Nice. It looked, it looked really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Way to improvise. Yeah. 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 But but to all the filmmakers out there, um, don't be afraid to ask. You know, get involved like Demetrius and I, like in uh Indiana Filmmakers Network. If someone is shooting a little short and you're interested, you just volunteer. People always yeah. need more help yeah. to make their vision yeah. a reality. If you're willing to help them, they're probably gonna be willing to help you. And you'll yeah. learn a whole lot in the process by just doing it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for joining right. us and, and hanging out. Like I said, it, it's a testament to, you know, we know things got behind, but it, we love that when we popped in, you were here. So um, we hope you keep enjoying the festival and keep, you know, supporting each other and checking out other filmmakers. And um, we will see you hopefully, you know, the rest of tonight. We've got um, a block that's playing and then we have another block after that, which is a one hour block of, excuse me, of short. So um, those are a lot of fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. and though we'll be back here at 10 tomorrow and, um, you know, we are supposed to have our award ceremony and we are kind of try to re re-improvise that and make sure that we can 
get that done um, and have that to you guys at 7 p.m. following the um, film fest. So uh, make okay. sure you come back for that as well. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, so guys. Much. Thank Enjoy. you. Have All a right. good rest of your night. Hey. All right. <laughs> Thanks for getting submerged. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>